Hey, how you doing, boys and girls? Um, we're going to have a little session today that talks about um, the new uh, the new uh, guy in town, which is the uh, which is the Hummer. Um, we want to um, wait and see what would would happen uh, with the Hummer before we made a comparison between the Rivian, the Cybertruck, and the Hummer. But now now is the time for us to maybe have a little bit of a discussion about what I think. So. I'm going to compare the three of them, and then at the end, I'm going to compare the um, I'm going to compare the best of what we think for an F-150 or sorry, a 1500 uh, vehicle might might look like. So let's go through, and these are my opinions. Um, I am an off-roader. I do like to uh, drive off-road. I've got a Jeep um, a Jeep um, a Rubicon. Um, it's tricked out with mm, a few things that I need, like. <clears throat> like um, some crash bars and um, and a winch because I do get stuck. Anyway, um, I, I, I'd like to just make a comment on the differences that I see between the Rivian, the, um, the Cybertruck, and the Hummer. So the Cybertruck, we don't know an awful lot an, about, but uh, we do know that probably it isn't going to be able to crab and probably it isn't going to be able to do a tank turn which means, uh, for me anyway, that's a disadvantage if you get stuck in, uh, in some place where it'd be great if you could kind of like make a little circle. Um, anybody who's been in a situation where you go over a hill and suddenly you're staring at a, an impasse, um, a blind alley if you like, then uh, you're going to have to do some kind of a 100 point turn in order to get yourself out of there. And usually it wastes a lot of time and by the time you're done, uh, you're tired with the tank turn um, you're out in a second and you don't have to you don't have to do much of anything with a crab I can't really I can't really get out of nasty situations like that it may be good for rocks I don't know but I, I don't we don't I don't climb rocks so so maybe there's something going on there so I think uh, from a standpoint of the one differentiating feature that I saw that would be the tank turn on the Rivian. I do like that better. So now that we've gotten out of the, that little, um, that little uh, uh, discussion, <clears throat> what I like to do quickly is to talk about, to talk about what I think are the, uh, the important points. So if we look here at, uh, uh, at a chart, what we've got here is uh, uh, the horsepower for the, um, for the cyber trucks around 800. The, uh, the Rivian's about 750, and um, according to what we just heard, um, it looks like it's about 1,000 horsepower for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the Hummer. The torque is about, a uh, on, uh, on, the, uh, on the Cybertruck's about 1,000 uh, pound, or sorry, uh, uh, yeah, pound feet. Um, the, uh, the Rivian is about um, 826 pound feet. Now the advertised number for the uh, for the Hummer is uh, is eleven thousand pound feet. That's because they've used the diameter of the wheel. Normally that would be around a thousand uh, uh, pound feet. So they they're kind of in the same ballpark. Range for the Cybertruck though kind of like uh, eclipses all the other guys at five hundred miles. That's an amazing amount of, uh, of travel. That would be very handy as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> the Rivian is uh, advertising 400 miles plus, and the um, and the uh, Hummer is looking at around 350. That somehow there's uh, I don't I don't understand why there's uh, so much of a disparity there, but I, I appreciate that uh, that the Hummer guys are uh, you know at least being honest. Zero to 60 on the uh, on a Cybertruck 2.9 seconds, on the Rivian it's uh, three seconds and uh, three seconds on the um, on the on the Hummer, <clears throat> top speed um, 130 on the uh, Cybertruck, 124 on the Rivian and TBD uh, for the uh, for the Hummer. Now, when we look at this, we also want to look at um, uh, kilowatt hours, and um, and so we look at the uh, the Cybertruck, and that's probably around 180 to 240 kilowatt hours. The uh, Rivian has already announced that it's about 180. The Hummer is somewhere around 200 kilowatt hours as well. 
So let's get to the part where, um, where we really get to separate the wheat and the chaff. 69 grand for the Cybertruck, um, 80 grand for the Rivian, and to keep all things equal, $112,595 for the Hummer. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a big price tag. So I just want to let you know that we, I've already said that we have a Cybertruck on order, and uh, I think I mentioned that we had a Rivian on order, and now here's our, here's our uh, Hummer on order. Um, later on, I'm going to ask for, uh, for your opinions on things, but before I get into that, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Tesla, uh, sorry, the, uh, the battery styles, and I'll start with uh, the Tesla. Okay, so we already saw that, uh, that Tesla is coming out with a 4680 um, battery. And um, that 4680, by our estimations, puts it about five years ahead of the GM uh, LG batteries. The, um, the 2170s that, uh, that are in the, um, in the Rivian, uh, they're as current as today. So they might be maybe changing up in the future to go to... Uh, maybe the uh, 4680 or maybe a 5070. It's hard to say, but at the end of the day, they're going to be coming in a, at a close second. So I'm a little nervous about the, uh, the uh, LG complexity that they're showing up with on the, um, on, the, uh, on the battery pack. So if we take a little talk on that, let's, let's just kind of put things into perspective. Most of you who've been following me know that um, I'm a big fan of less is more. I want to have the fewest number of parts because that gives me the fewest, uh, fewest amount of uh, failure points. So if we look at the battery style, and if we're talking about the 4680 that I think is going to go into the uh, Cybertruck tri-motor, I think we're looking at somewhere between 950 and 970 uh, batteries in that pack. If we look at the, uh, if we look at the uh, Rivian, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be around 4,416 uh, times two. So, uh, so we're looking at 8,800 uh, 8, uh, batteries in there. If we look at the LG pouch that goes in, uh, the pouch style batteries that go into the, uh, <coughs> into the Hummer, we're looking at uh, 24 of those uh, packs, or sorry, 24 of those pouches in each, uh, in each module. And then we've got 48 modules and uh, inside there, we've got um, 576 that, that will create the entire, the entire product, the entire drivetrain. That's, uh, <clears throat> that's a lot. And when we start looking at things like this, we're looking at massive amounts of, uh, of uh, extra bits. Okay, so there's going to be, <clears throat> there's gonna be dozens of, um, of uh, bus bars. There's going to be dozens of threaded fasteners because each one is being held down. I don't know, I do know why they went in that direction and that would be because as you use pouch cells you've got to contain these things. They want to expand and contract and expansion has to be held in place by a really uh, secure type of a box. That's where, that's where the module comes in. That kind of stuff um, adds extra weight, extra, extra cost and then you've got to connect them together, and that's where the bus bars come in. If we look at the, um, if we look at the, uh, the Tesla, and, uh, and we just go off of what I think we're going to find when we, uh, when we get the chance to see the Tesla battery pack, I think you're going to see one gigantic module. It's going to have, like I said before, 950 to 970 cells inside of it, but they're all going to be connected basically um, with uh, probably two bus bars. That'll, uh, that'll connect all of the different, uh, the different leads. And I think you're going to wind up, or I know you're winding up, with zero fasteners, zero threaded fasteners. That's going to make a big, giant difference as far as, um, as, far as uh, reliability and whatnot. I don't know how they're cooling the existing GM, but I suspect that there's a plate in between them that'll, that'll wick the heat out. But with the Tesla, it's definitely going to be a lower plate, and the same thing is true from the, uh, for the guys at, uh, at Rivian. So I think that, in essence, um, one, one thing leads to another, and we get to some kind of a close here. And I, I think that what I want to do is I want to say that, for sure, um, I have, uh, I have uh, five 
uh, Tesla Cyber Trucks on order. I got uh, one Rivian on order, and now I got one Hummer on order. But I can't afford three. I can only afford two. Cybertruck is going to definitely be one of them. So what we're asking you guys to do is, um, is uh, tell us which one you think would be the better for us to have a look at, Rivian or the GMC Hummer. Uh, that's kind of like what I'd like to, like to get from you guys. The other thing I wanted to do quickly was to, um, <clears throat> was to talk about um, how does this compare to ICE, okay? So we analyzed the three biggest selling pickup trucks on the planet. And uh, that would be the uh, Silverado and uh, the F-150 and the Ram 1500. Now, we did a comparison between all those three trucks and the Ram 1. I mean, it won hands down. So if we look at that, let's, let's look at how that compares to uh, the folks over here on the Cybertruck, the Hummer, and the Rivian. So we're looking at horsepower. Remember before you ran from 750 to 1,000 horsepower. The Ram's coming in at 260 horsepower. Um, the torque, um, you know, 1,000 foot-pounds, 826 uh, pound-feet. Well, the, uh, the Ram's coming in at eight, uh, 480. If we look at the range, okay, it basically is double what the Cybertruck's gonna come out with at 1,000 miles. If we look at zero to 60, um, everybody was in at around three seconds, but basically um, we're at nine seconds with the, uh, with the Ram. And by the way, I should qualify this. Um, this is basically the Ram diesel. It's the high-end Ram diesel that we're looking at. Towing capacity, they're all about the same. And then the price tag. So we didn't talk about the price tags before, but I'll let you in on a little secret right now. The Cybertruck, 69900 so 70 grand. The Rivian's 80 grand. The, uh, the Hummer is coming in at a whopping 112, 113 grand. And then we got the Ram coming in at 69,000. It's actually the cheapest thing out there to buy, but, uh, but at the end of the day, what, what exactly are you getting uh, for what you're buying? <clears throat> so I'm hoping that uh, the Ram folks are gonna look at this and say, hmm, maybe we should come out with a um, with, a, with a, an EV Ram, uh, because really and truly, um, this is gonna, as I mentioned before, I'm seeing a tro crossover point somewhere around um, 2030, and uh, I think that the Ram guys might wanna take that into consideration. I really, I'm really not one of their executives, but if I was, uh, I'd definitely be on this like white on rice. So now, let's go to something else, okay? Now, <clears throat> Monroe and Associates, or sorry, well, Monroe and Associates, Monroe Live, we're, uh, we're approaching the 100,000 subscriber mark. And we decided that it would be nice to have a giveaway. And so, uh, yeah, I can look right through it. <clears throat> so we decided that we're going to give at least this one away and maybe a couple more. Some of them will go to the subscribers, and some of these bits will go to, uh, go to our Patreons. So... I want to tell you right now that when we hit 100,000, we're going to have a couple of giveaways to celebrate the situation. So you don't have to give us any money or anything. All we're looking at here is, you know, say a thanks. This is a word of thanks. The other thing that I wanted to talk about a little bit was people have asked about the, um, people have asked about how do you do what you do? Well, this is the little book that, uh, that uh, we have here. These things are, um, are for sale um, on uh, uh, Monroe Live. You can get one. Um, and um, because, <clears throat> because uh, really and truly, we're, we're really trying to, uh, to make everybody happy, um, these things are all going to get signed. <clears throat> so, um, in fact, I'm going to sign this one right now. Um, oh, I, I guess I'm going to use a big marker. Here we go. I'll turn it this way. So, um, so you'll get one that's got a little signature in it like that. Uh, probably put the date in and things, whatever you want. So let me know, um, let me know what you want to do versus uh, Rivian versus Hummer. I'd like to know that. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed, this is the first time I've ever asked anybody to subscribe. Apparently, 100,000 is a big deal. So, um, I, uh, but now there's, there might be a treat in here for you. One in 100,000, one in 100, well, actually it'd be more than one. We're going we're gonna to actually uh, get rid of some of the other stuff that's uh, sitting here that either didn't sell or, um, or we think you might find extremely interesting. So, there'll be, there'll be prizes um, in this giveaway. Okay.